I absolutely love being an engineer. It's easy for me to just stand here and say, you should be an engineer, because I love it. And I, you know, why wouldn't I want somebody to love what they do for their work? I mean, what, what more do we want out of a career than to say, I love my job, I love my work, and I, um, um, I wish you love your work as much as I do. So there are so many innately fascinating things about the sciences and engineering and if one pursues formal you know engineering coursework and such we're given tools to think uh, more than anything about how to create how to solve problems how to manage the materials and the machines around us and to improve them and to be guaranteed in a career in engineering that there will always be really interesting stuff happening around you and there will always be interesting people surrounding you. Instead of saying, well, according to the rules, we can't do this, we think differently as engineers. We think, we just don't know how to do it yet. Or we have to find a different way to do it. We don't think, oh, it can't be done. In terms of just the, the gender aspect, I think uh, my experience as a woman has been maybe I'm a little bit different. When I walk into a room full of engineers, I'm not, I'm not already just like all the other engineers. And that just fits right in with this idea of when you're an engineer, you're not trying to make everything the same. You're trying to make something different or fresh, or you're, you're trying to get out of some conceptual or intellectual box. Sometimes women have had to do that already just to finish their uh, college work. Uh, they, they already have had to think out of the box. In this industry, there's a huge amount of diversity in terms of nationality and age and gender. And I think that that is a particular advantage actually to the industry because people have such different perspectives when they grow up in other hemispheres and have uh, grown up in different cultures and then come together to try to, to create a product on the same team. One of my very favorite things about the particular um, site that I work, which is a design center, is the variety of engineers and scientists and others that I work with every single day. There are mechanical engineers for sure, uh, developing the mechanics of the drive, and there are electrical engineers figuring out how to turn that magnetic signal into an electrical signal. There are software engineers figuring out how to convert the data back and forth between a magnetic bit on a disk to you know, the other kinds of data. If you want to build a drive, you're going to put it on an assembly line, and there are some, some really sharp people working on robotics. There are uh, physicists advancing the, the ways in which the, we are controlling the magnetics uh, performance and the electrical performance. Frequently we're working closely with statisticians and people who do data analytics because we're making millions of drives per week in the factories and uh, some of the logisticians have their work cut out for them to manage that complexity and the volumes. So, so there's this huge diversity of types of talent and backgrounds that everyone has to work together uh, to develop a product. You need each other. You cannot. You cannot develop the product if someone is missing. An engineer is always, always creating and designing and following their curiosity and, and saying what if and thinking we can do this, there is a way and moving forward with, with uh, what can be done. So whether it's mechanically, whether it's chemically or software, what, whatever it is, we can, we can expand what is doable.